New Bedford really fosters entrepreneurship. I mean, if you walk around downtown, you're not seeing a lot of chain stores. It's encouraging independent business. People from New Bedford care about New Bedford and they want to do things that's going to support the community. take people on guided food, art, and history tours. We tell them the history of New Bedford, and along the way, we stop at five different places to sample the food. New Bedford is so rich in the culinary scene, and more people need to know that. So we figured, let's introduce more people to New Bedford so more people can know how awesome we are. New Bedford is great because it really is a city that's turning the corner and there's real opportunities here. We've seen new businesses open up that you wouldn't even see in other areas, but because of the artistic community, I feel like New Bedford is just more open to different kind of businesses. I cater to the BIPOC community throughout my artwork and stationary items. It kind of dawned on me that there was a representation and I realized, wait, I can't find anything that represents my skin color or my culture, me being Cape Verdean. That's really where I knew that it was a problem and I wanted to be the solution to that. I'm one of three girls in my family and I'm the first to own a business within like my generation. The community surrounding entrepreneurs in this city is amazing. It's almost like a family. We're a tight-knit community and we support each other. It feels amazing to get the energy back because it's scary to put yourself out there. Sorbet Frozen Treats is the first vegan and all dairy free frozen dessert shop in New Bedford, Massachusetts. We specialize in globally inspired flavors. I started the menu based on some Brazilian flavors that I grew up with. When you're looking for something that doesn't have dairy in it, or if you're vegan and you don't want animal products, options are very limited. I just wanted to give those people another avenue to fulfill that comfort food craving for, for an ice cream. And it tastes like its own thing. There's a lot in the infrastructure here, in the ecosystem to support people. Local nonprofits, the city itself, all those folks coming together to try to see how they can incubate these businesses, which is really exciting. So what we do is we focus our efforts on salvaging and recycling mattresses. 95% of the mattresses we receive are end of life need to be recycled. We cut apart the mattress layer by layer, starting with the cotton, then the foam, then the steel. And we're able to salvage 75 to 80% of the weight of every mattress, which can then be used for other uses downstream. 600,000 mattresses are disposed of every year in the state of Massachusetts alone. I think this year we'll probably recycle 50 to 70,000 mattresses and about 5% of all the mattresses we get, we're able to clean and sanitize and then resell. You know, we're selling mattresses at 10 to 20% of their normal retail value. So $3,000 mattress you can come here and buy for $300. And that's a huge help to people. Part of Hand Up's mission is really to help folks get good paying jobs, and we really focus on working with immigrants and refugees. English skills can be lower, so that helps people get into the workforce, get a good paying job, and then move on, hopefully. And that's the idea of a hand up, not a handout over time. You know, I had invested in this building and this project just because I believe so much and strongly in New Bedford. It was really just the store was sitting empty for a number of years and, you know, I just thought it was a shame. So this would be the perfect business and opportunity for this particular neighborhood that's so residentially heavy. 
neighbors that I'm meeting is great and seeing their reaction to the store has been really the best highlight. It's a great cross section of everyone and you know there's only a handful of businesses in this area so I just thought it would be really really great just to have something like this because you know people need real high quality food and we have a lot of that in New Bedford but I'm hoping to expand that a little bit. We've got everything from your basic grocery staples to frozen foods, dairy, to prepared meals, which is really a huge aspect that we're trying to grow into. Do some private catering events, charcuterie, sandwich platters, doing all sorts of things like that. And we've got beer and wine. So it's a little bit of everything. We hope that we're kind of touching on everything so that it really is that useful store. I think that creatives makes such good business owners because they are already not afraid to put themselves out there. They also bring other people into their ideas. I and mean, I think that creatives tend to be a little bit more community minded as well. I've been a tattoo artist for 16 years and I opened a tattoo shop with my cousin and his wife. The first Hispanic tattoo shop in New Bedford. Also the first to offer a microblade into the city, which we're extremely proud of. When this opportunity came to me, I was a manager at a retail location and I thought this would be a good change. And it was shortly after COVID and I was like, you know what, I'm going to follow something that I want to do. And I think that was a really good decision. Very adaptable and flexible to be able to pivot at any given moment. Someone that has a creative mind, they just, they think differently. Newbie Cleaning is residential and commercial cleaning, not only for homes, but also for offices and businesses in the South Coast area. Majority of our clients are hiring us because they're that busy family that doesn't have the time to be able to clean their own home or clean their own office space. And there's a big thing when you talk about mental health, feeling of satisfaction when you walk into a space that is clean. When I applied for NB100, I honestly didn't think I was gonna get it. I was so grateful and I felt so blessed because it really took the stress off of me and like that pressure of opening a business. I'm super grateful for the MB100 because of the fact that they allowed me to finish the renovations for this whole entire store. People's reactions when they see how nice the store is and how, you know, we're sort of all working together to just keep improving New Bedford. That's what I'm most excited about. It gave us the ability to work with other people. Not only that it helped us, it's allowing us to help others. You're supporting me Bedford Food Tours, you're not just supporting me personally, you're supporting all the businesses that we support. And it just, it has ripple effects. It never really occurred to me that all these things existed. Meeting other entrepreneurs, meeting the people from the EDC, and then learning about everything that the city has to offer. It felt good, it felt safe, it felt like someone has your back. You know, everyone's going to tell you why I can't work, all the problems, and you can get caught in all the things that you have to figure out before you move forward, and then you'll never get started. Don't worry about your screw-ups, and don't worry about your mess. That's all part of the process. Any idea that's percolating in someone's mind, I hope that this inspires them to explore it a little more. 
just start. Like if you have that idea, just start. You're always gonna be scared. You're always gonna have that self-doubt, that imposter syndrome. I still have imposter syndrome after over a year of doing this, but just start.